and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we will look at how to set up a document for a thermal printer. Let's get started by opening Bartender. From the Welcome dialog box, we can start a new Bartender document or open an existing Bartender document. We'll get started by choosing the Start New Bartender Document option. This opens the New Document Wizard. If, for whatever reason, you do not get the Welcome dialog box, you can always come up to the File menu and choose New. This will also open the New Document Wizard. In the New Document Wizard, you have the option to open a blank template or to work on an existing Bartender document, which you can select from the files on your computer. Since we're setting up a new document, we'll begin with a blank template. Click Next to continue to the printer selection. Here, you will see all of the printers installed on your computer. If you do not see the thermal printer you want to use on this list, exit the New Document Wizard and install it at this time. Go ahead and select your printer and click Next. Bartender contains a list of commonly used label and tag stocks. If you know the stock that you are using, you can look through this list and choose that stock. If you need to use a stock that is not in the predefined list, you can choose to enter custom settings by selecting the Specify Custom Settings option. For now, we will use Specify Custom Settings and click Next. If you are using a stock with multiple labels per sheet, you can select the number of columns and rows at this point. For now, choose Single Item per Page and click Next. Here, we need to specify the space between the label and the edge of the page. Notice that we have a preview window that gives us a graphical representation of our document template. Most label stocks use a thin paper backing to hold multiple labels together. This results in an unused portion of paper that will not be printed on. You can see any changes you make in the preview area on the right side of the wizard. Once the preview image looks like your label stock, go ahead and click Next to continue. Here we select the shape of our labels. Notice the preview image on the right updates with our selection. Let's go with a typical rounded rectangle and click Next. Now we want to set the size of the label. Be sure to specify the height and width of the label itself, not including the gaps between labels or the unused paper on the sides. We can also change the orientation of our template. A portrait orientation prints our design as you see it on screen. A landscape orientation rotates it 90 degrees. We also have a printer icon that shows how your design will look upon exiting the printer. For example, if we change the orientation from Portrait to Portrait 180, notice that the text is rotated 180 degrees on our printer icon. For now, we'll select a landscape orientation and move on to our background options. Here, we can add a number of background features to our design template, such as a background color, a background picture, or a template image. We will cover these features in another video. For now, we will stick to the basic document setup and click Next. This brings us to the end of the new document wizard. Here, we get a review screen that presents us with all of the settings for our document. This is a good time to point out one more useful feature of the wizard, the back button. If we want to go back and make changes to any of our settings, we can always click the back button to make that change. When we click Finish, our new bartender document is created. We can also click Finish at any point in the wizard to go directly to our new document. Finally, all we have left to do is save our document. One last important note, many of these settings can be changed at a later time using the Page Setup option located in the File menu. To quickly recap, creating a new document in Bartender is easy. Simply open the New Document Wizard on Startup or from the File menu and follow through the pages until you get to Finish and Save. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.